Whoa, 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 whoa. It's graduation day. We're about to graduate. So can we try this again? All right, all right. Good afternoon. Okay, okay, that's better. It is my honor to introduce our student speaker this afternoon, Lillian Gamble. Lily is graduating magna cum laude from the Hale College of Business with degrees in accounting and human resource management. During her time at NKU, Lily has excelled in the classroom, earning Dean's List honors throughout her college career. She applied her studies in several local internships and co-ops in tax and accounting and served as the president of NKU's Finance and Accounting Student Association. After graduating, she will take on the CPA exam and begin a full-time position with BKD, an accounting firm in Bloomington, Indiana. Lily was selected for this honor today based on her outstanding academic achievements as well as her service to the university and to the Hale College School of Business. Please join me in welcoming Lillian Gamble to the podium. with nothing more than just wanting to check boxes. What I failed to realize is how impactful the journey would be. The honor of standing here today has caused me to reflect on this experience. Little did I know that two years into my time here, the pandemic would hit, and the routine of driving to class, getting fast food pretty much every day, and then coming home would come to an end. I felt lost. We were all of a sudden learning these new terms like Zoom, asynchronous versus synchronous, and the ominous lockdown browser with a webcam. But we persevered. We adapted to unprecedented circumstances. The pandemic did not change our destination, but it did change how we would get here. Although I came for the destination, I, like most of you, have had quite the journey, filled with learning, growth, failures, joy, and uncertainty. For example, my very first job interview did not go very well. Needless to say, I didn't get the job. Moreover, I didn't know why. I had done everything I was supposed to do. It didn't work. I was stumbling over feelings of uncertainty, doubt, and simply being uncomfortable, I had to figure out the next steps. My first, just stop checking boxes. I recognized that the person I was going to be when I reached today was going to be defined by the work and activities I did between those boxes. I had to take ownership. I had to define what the journey was going to look like and what I wanted to get out of my time here at NKU. I put me into the equation. With this shift in perspective came new opportunities. I began viewing my professors as people and resources rather than just graders. Those relationships led to an opportunity to join and then lead a student organization. What a turnaround, a scary one. You'd be surprised to learn, I don't necessarily like public speaking. My brain scrambles, my voice shakes, and my face gets very, very red. Hopefully not right now. But embracing the uncomfortable, growing in these moments, and creating community with peers were beginning to define my journey. I started out seeking more opportunities, especially the ones that made me uncomfortable, because I started to see the change in myself. I was becoming who I wanted to be when I reached today. Our graduating class has had a journey like no other. We could have run, we could have quit, but instead, each of us sitting here today chose to conquer. When we walk out of here today, I offer one more challenge. Don't just leave to check boxes, but take chances. Be comfortable being uncomfortable. Be the pilot of your journey, so when you reach your next destination, you can look back and say you have arrived as the person you wanted to be. 
Congrats, class of 2022. We've had quite the journey. I can't wait to see who we become on our way to the next destination. Thank you. Please welcome Denver.